I wrote down their names all together, their times and their seasons, as the angel Uriel, who was with me, pointed them out. He showed them all to me and wrote down an account of them. He also wrote down for me their names, their regulations, and their operations. From thence I advanced on towards the north to the extremities of the earth. And there I saw a great and glorious wonder at the extremities of the whole earth. I saw their heavenly gates opening into heaven, three of them distinctly separated. The northern winds proceeded from them, blowing cold, hail, frost, snow, dew, and rain. From one of the gates they blew mildly, but when they blew from the two other gates, it was with violence and force. They blew over the earth strongly. From thence I went to the extremities of the world westwards, where I perceived three gates open, as I had seen in the north, the gates and passages through them being of equal magnitude. Then I proceeded to the extremities of the earth southward, where I saw three gates open to the south, from which issued dew, rain, and wind. From thence I went to the extremities of the heaven eastwards, where I saw three heavenly gates open to the east, which had smaller gates within them. Through each of these small gates, the stars of heaven passed on and proceeded towards the west by a path which was seen by them and at every period of their appearance. When I beheld them, I blessed. Every time in which they appeared, I blessed the Lord of glory, who had made those great and splendid signs that they might display the magnificence of his works to angels and to the souls of men, and that these might glorify all his works and operations, might see the effect of his power, might glorify the great labor of his hands, and bless him forever. The vision which he saw, the second vision of wisdom which Enoch saw, the son of Jared, the son of Malaleel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam. This is the commencement of the word of wisdom which I receiveth, to declare and tell to those who dwell upon the earth. Hear from the beginning, and understand to the end, the holy things which I utter in the presence of the Lord of Spirits. Those who were before us thought it was good to speak, and let not us who come after obstruct the beginning of wisdom. Until the present period, never has there been given before the Lord of Spirits that which I have received, wisdom according to the capacity of my intellect and according to the pleasure of the Lord of Spirits, that which I have received from him, a portion of life eternal. And I obtained three parables, which I declared to the inhabitants of the world. Parable the first. When the congregation of the righteous shall be manifested, and sinners be judged for their crimes, and be troubled in the sight of the world. When righteousness shall be manifested in the presence of the righteous themselves, who will be elected for their good works, duly weighed by the Lord of Spirits, and when the light of the righteous and the elect who dwell on earth shall be manifested, where will the habitant, habitation of sinners be? And where the place of rest for those who have rejected the Lord of Spirits? It would have been better for them had they never been born. When, too, the secrets of the righteous shall be revealed, then shall sinners be judged, and impious men shall be afflicted in the presence of the righteous and the elect. From that period, those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful and exalted. Neither shall they be capable of beholding the countenances of the holy. For the light of the countenances of the holy, the righteous, and the elect has been seen by the Lord of Spirits. Yet shall not the mighty kings of that period be destroyed, but be delivered into the hands of the righteous and the holy. Nor thenceforward shall any obtain commiseration from the Lord of Spirits, because their lives in this world will have been completed. In those days shall the elect and holy race descend from the upper heavens, and their seed shall then be with the sons of men. Enoch received books of indignation and wrath, and books of hurry and agitation. 
Never shall they obtain mercy, saith the Lord of spirits. A cloud then snatched me up, and the wind raised me above the surface of the earth, placing me at the extremity of the heavens. Then I saw another vision. I saw the habitation and couches of the saints. There my eyes beheld their habitations with the angels and their couches with the holy ones. They were entreating, supplicating, and praying for the sons of men. while righteousness like water flowed before them, and mercy like dew was scattered over the earth, and thus shall it be with them forever and forever. At that time my eyes beheld the dwelling of the elect of truth, faith, and righteousness. Countless should be the number of the holy and the elect in the presence of God forever and forever. The residence I beheld under the wings of the Lord of Spirits, all the holy and elect sung before him, in appearance like a blaze of fire, their mouths being full of blessings and their lips glorifying the name of the Lord of Spirits. And righteousness incessantly dwelt before him. There was I desire, desirous of remaining, and my soul longed for that habitation. There was my antecedent inheritance. For thus said I prevailed before the Lord of Spirits. At that time I glorified and extolled the name of the Lord of Spirits with blessing and with praise, for he has established it with blessing and with praise, according to his own good pleasure. That place long did my eyes contemplate. I blessed and said, Blessed be he, blessed from the beginning forever. In the beginning, before the world was created, and without end, is his knowledge. What is this world? Of every existing generation that shall bless thee, who do not sleep in the dust, but stand before thy glory, blessing, glorifying, exalting thee, and saying, The holy, holy Lord of spirits fills the whole world of spirits. There my eyes beheld all who, without sleeping, stand before him and bless him, saying, Blessed be thine, blessed be the name of God forever and forever. Then my countenance became changed until I was incapable of seeing. After this, I beheld thousands of thousands and myriads of myriads and an infinite number of people standing before the Lord of Spirits. On the four wings, likewise, of the Lord of Spirits, on the four sides, I perceived others besides those who were standing before him. Their names, too, I know, because the angel who proceeded with me declared them to me, discovering to me every secret thing. Then I heard the voices of those who upon the four sides magnifying the glory, the Lord of glory. The first voice blessed the Lord of spirits forever and forever. The second voice I heard blessed the elect one, and the elect who suffer on account of the Lord of spirits. The third voice I heard petitioning and praying for those who dwell upon earth and supplicate the name of the Lord of spirits. The fourth voice I heard expelling the impious angels and prohibiting them from entering into the presence of the Lord of Spirits to prefer accusations against the inhabitants of the earth. After this, I besought the angel of peace who proceeded with me to explain all that was concealed. I said to him, Who are those whom I have seen on the four sides and whose words I have heard and written down? He replied, The first is the merciful, the patient, and holy Michael. The second is he who presides over every suffering and every affliction of the sons of men, the holy Raphael. The third who presides over all that is powerful is Gabriel. And the fourth who presides over repentance and the hope of those who will inherit eternal life is Fenuel. These are the four angels of the Most High God and their four voices which I at that time heard. After this I beheld the secrets of the heavens and of paradise, according to its divisions, and of human action, as they weigh in their balances. I saw the habitations of the elect and the habitations of the holy, and there my eyes beheld all the sinners who denied the Lord of glory, and whom they were expelling from thence, and dragging away as they stood there. No punishment proceeding against them from the Lord of Spirits. There, too, my eyes beheld the secrets of the lightning and the thunder, and the secrets of the winds, how they are distributed as they blow over the earth. 
the secrets of the winds, of the dew, and of the clouds. Then I perceived the place from which they issued forth and became saturated with the dust of the earth. There I saw the wooden receptacle out of which the winds became separated. The receptacle of hail, the receptacle of snow, the receptacle of the clouds, and the cloud itself, which continued over the earth before the creation of the world. I beheld also the receptacles of the moon, whence the moons came, whither they proceeded, their glorious return, and how one became more splendid than another. I marked their rich progress, their unchangeable progress, their disunited and undiminished progress, their observance of a mutual fidelity by a stable oath, their proceeding forth before the sun and their adherence to the path allotted them, in obedience to the command of the Lord of Spirits. Potent is his name forever and ever. After this I perceived that the path, both concealed and manifest of the moon, as well as the progress of its path, was there completed by day and by night. While each, one with another, looked towards the Lord of Spirits, magnifying and praising without cessation, since praise to them is rest. For in the splendid sun there is a frequent conversion to blessing and to malediction. The course of the moon's path to the righteous is light, but to sinners it is darkness. In the name of the Lord of Spirits who created a division between light and darkness, and separating the spirits of men, strengthen the spirits of the righteous in the name of his own righteousness. Nor does the angel prevent this, neither is he endowed with the power of preventing it. For the judge beholds them all and judges them all in his own presence. Wisdom found not a place on earth where she could inhabit. Her dwelling, therefore, is in heaven. Wisdom went forth to dwell among the sons of men, but she obtained not a habitation. Wisdom returned to her place and seated herself in the midst of the angels. But iniquity went forth after her return, who unwillingly found an habitation resided among them as rain in the desert and as dew in a thirsty land. I beheld another splendor in the stars of heaven. I observed that he called them all by their respective names and that they heard. In a righteous balance I saw that he weighed out with their light the amplitude of their places in the days of the day of their appearance and their conversion. Splendor produced splendor and their conversion was into the number of the angels and of the faithful. And I inquired of the angel who proceeded with me and explained to me secret things, what their names were. He answered, A similitude of those has the Lord of Spirits shown thee. There are names of the righteous who dwell upon earth and who believe in the name of the Lord of Spirits forever and forever. Another thing also I saw respecting splendor that it rises out of the stars and becomes splendor, being incapable of forsaking them. Parable the second, respecting those who deny the name of the habitation of the holy ones and the Lord of Spirits. Heaven they shall not ascend, nor shall they come on the earth. This shall be the portion of sinners who deny the name of the Lord of Spirits, and who are thus reserved for the day of punishment and of affliction. In that day shall the elect ones sit upon a throne of glory, and shall choose their conditions and countless habitations, while their spirits within them shall be strengthened when they behold my elect one, shall choose them for those who have fled for protection to my holy and glorious name. In that day I will cause my elect one to dwell in the midst of them, will change the face of heaven, will bless it and illuminate it forever. And this will end this particular chapter or video. And I'll speak to you soon with a continuation.